Hey friends and family, I guess I'm kind of sorry for that shorter video yesterday, but uh, you know, these things happen. About to make some more cookies here. A little bit early, hopefully I don't just pass out after eating these cookies because, man, it's like not even, it's like not even 7 o'clock yet. But, um, I kind of wanted to show you this. Every time I've been making cookies since that first batch, I've been... been using this this lard or all vegetable shortening is what it's called to grease the pan and this is this is how I have to do it I have to actually reach in there and grab a little bit and you know spread it all over wherever I want it to go but then I got all this crap on my hand so it's like Ah, I don't know, it just, and it takes like five minutes or so to clean it off of my hand. Well, not really, but it seems like it takes a lot longer than it should, and it feels weird on my hand. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Check this out, though. This is brilliant. I made, if you haven't noticed, I've made the sort of cookies that don't really, you know, rise and expand. They pretty much just stay, you know, it's like the, those tube cookies that you just cut out. So I rolled this... I rolled some of the cookie dough that I have into like a thing. This is probably half of what I have left and that's going to make like, gosh, I don't know, 15 or so more cookies. But here, see if I can hold this in my chin again without like dropping something. There you go. Maybe you can see this. wonder if my voice sounds weird or not. I'm using the wrong knife. Oh, there we go. That'll make a good cookie. Oh, camera's slipping. <laughs> well, there you go. Hopefully you get the idea because I was able to actually show you there. I'm not sure. <laughs> good luck with that, I guess. <laughs> Check it out. You got Miser in my lap here. You know? How it is. The, uh, excuse me. Cookies are about done, I think. Maybe a minute. Maybe now. We'll have to get this guy off my lap. Miser. Miser. Alright, cookies. This is the important thing. Let's have a look at them. Before we even open the uh, thing, because if you open that oven up, it lets out so much heat. I don't know how well... Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Cookies baking in the oven, man. Alright, it's a little early, but I'm feeling like I want some kind of green cookies, you could say. Some cookies that are just there. They've got just a little bit of brown on them. Like hardly anything. Just brown on the bottom. Like not even well, hardly anything at all. Man, I'm just babbling about the state the state of the cookie that I want. I want a cookie that is like just baked enough. Just enough. You know. Perfect timing for what I'm talking about. If you oh, if you look under there. Look at that. The cookie's even bending just off of that edge. It's so close to not being cooked, but it is cooked. It's baked. Good cookie. Now I'm gonna eat some cookies and watch some YouTube. Alright, I'm not sure, but I think that I ate two-thirds of all those cookies. Got these guys left and, uh, oh man, I can't eat any more cookies. Well, I suppose I could, but then disgusting things would happen. So I'm gonna actually leave those sit here. Not covered or anything because I'm probably gonna come back and eat them later today because I'm actually gonna go exercising exercising. I'm gonna do my exercise for the day which as it has been recently is biking. 
But if you'll notice, it is actually still light out. I'm doing it a little bit earlier today because it's a little bit cooler today and I'll be able to pull it off without having to, you know, heat stroke or something. Miser. Oh, he meows at me from time to time. There it is again. I'm not giving him enough attention. Miser. Oh, well. Maybe he knows that I'm about to leave for a little while. He doesn't want me to go. Well, it's really fun to go along this here. Especially at night when you don't have any light. There's a lot fewer people on the road here. I've been listening to uh, Blue Mars here. It's the last, uh, last book in the Mars Trilogy by Kim Stanley Robinson. ended up getting a flat tire while I was out riding my bike around. It turns out I was on my well on my way to getting a, a 10 mile trip in. I was about 8 miles into it on the way home and got that flat. And uh, yeah, I, uh, my friend Job was kind enough to actually give me a ride home. And now I'm actually going to hop on my wife's bike and truck on down over to hang out with my sister for a little bit. So I really want to see him because I'm, we've seen like spiders this big inside of our apartment. Yeah. And she says it's bigger than any spider we've seen in our apartment. I want to just see right there. Him. Yeah, I want to. He lives inside that light, not inside, not inside the bulb. Obviously, he lives inside the electronical part of the light. <laughs> I want to see that. I want to see him. She's seen him, and she says that he's bigger than any spider we've ever seen him in our apartment. And you know, I've seen I've seen like giant. I want to see it too. spiders. There was one time I saw this bug that was this big, and I freaked out and I was screaming at Danny. I have no clue what kind of bug it was, but it was on my dirty laundry because my room really isn't dirty except for like dirty clothes. You so, don't know what kind of bug it was? No, I have no clue what kind of bug it was. Like it just looked so weird? It was really weird looking. And I was like, Dee, oh my god, Dee! But Actually, Nola Meyer and I went out to uh, the Blue Fugue open mic night after Chelsea went to sleep. And it was, uh, it was a good time. We saw some guy playing the bones. That was fun. Kim, I love you. Everyone else, thanks for watching.